Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you're just seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Adora and this is Life with Adabike. Let me know in the comments what made you click. What about this video made you be like, I want to watch, I want to know what she's talking about. For my OGs, welcome back, welcome back. Everybody, please make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And let me know in the comments where you're watching me from. What country, what region in the world, what state, wherever it is, let me know in the comments where you're watching me from. But let's get to the issue of the day. about what to film i was like what's going on i've been on youtube for a month now officially yay i can't even imagine that i made it this far and i just wanted to like this is may and i've been in that mood i've been reflecting on my past year and i just remembered how i felt how i felt last year when i was getting ready to write my mcat and I was like, you know what? Let me do something. Let me talk about my MCAT process, what that process was for me. So I told uh, you all in my, in my how to study for the MCAT on a budget video, I mentioned that I studied for the MCAT, but I used a MCAT prep course. And why I used a prep course was because I felt like I, I had been so far removed from the actual undergrad, chem, general chemistry, o chem. I did not remember anything. And I was doing my master's program at that time, and my master's was in public health, so I was not doing anything like hard sciences. So I really felt like I didn't remember anything, and I needed extra help. So when I had made peace with that with myself, you know, I had a conversation with my mom. I was like, please, I really, really need this help, and I, I can you help me? You know, especially with paying for it. So I found a course. I found Blueprint. I was able to get a little discount on the course as well, and that was what I used and you people I don't regret it using blueprints course was one of the best things that I did for my MCAT and I don't regret it so I this is not an ad this is not sponsored I have not reached that level yet please if you are watching come and sponsor me come and sponsor me because plague okay but no this is not sponsored but I really, really appreciated using that course. And I want to explain why. I want to explain how that course was able to get me from the trenches, the trenches to where I eventually, you know, to where my score ended up being, okay? So I, I knew I needed time. I knew I needed extra help. So I, my MCAT date was in June, specifically June 19th, I believe it was, or June 18th. I don't remember. If I, I'll put it down what it actually was. So one of the June dates, Sha, and I knew I needed time. So I took my very first diagnostic test in January. And you guys, <laughs> I got a 493. <laughs> my diagnostic test, I got a 493. And anybody that knows, I think that's like maybe 30 something percentile. 50th percentile is 500. So I think it was in the 30 something percentile. And I knew I needed to do better. Like, I remember panicking a little and being like, oh my God, like I knew as an international student, like I needed a good score. Like they're already looking for a reason to not, you know, to not accept me. So I knew that like I needed a good MCAT score. I was looking at anything above a 508 and I was like, how am I going to go from a 5, 493 to anything close to a 508? But I just believed, I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm here, we have to do it anyways. So as usual, I have my book and I wrote down some of the things that were really, really helpful for me from that course. As one of the things that if you are looking to do a prep course, I really think those are things that you should be looking for, be asking them about, do you have these things? So that I think it will really, really help you to improve your score and to get the score that you need. And like I said, if you are somebody who is not doing a prep course, who is doing this on a budget, who is doing self-study, I have a video and I'm looking at me, I have a video for you already, like that will help you, that is in, going to incorporate all these things I'm talking about. So the first thing was their schedule builder. Their schedule builder was so good for me because I was able to impute the days that I have available because I was doing, initially when I started studying, I was studying three days a week. 
because I had work and I had school as well. I was studying three days a week committedly. And then at the, as I, when COVID now came, I was unemployed <laughs> and then school was online. So I was able to actually up, amp up my studying. And I was able to like adjust in my schedule builder, like how much time I can give, you know? And I thought I really liked that it was, it was flexible in that way. I really, really liked that. But the thing is, if you're using outside resources like Anki or Khan Academy, you couldn't really impute it into the schedule builder. So that might be something that you would have to just like take notes for yourself. Like take note, okay, I want to do Anki decks this day or I want to do um, Khan Academy videos this day or whatever. But other things like all the AAMC stuff was already imputed. The next step course itself stuff was already imputed. The days, how many, the days I needed to do like Q banks, it was already there. The days I needed to do um, cars, so like studying for cars, it was already there. So that was really, really nice and really, really helpful. Made the whole process like way smoother for me. So I really appreciated that course builder. If you are doing any MCAT course, make sure they have some kind of course builder, some kind of scheduler, so you know what you're getting yourself into. Then they had these lesson videos, and the lesson videos were very very nice there were like 20 lesson videos out um at the end of it there were about 20 lesson videos and lesson videos were how they actually taught you the course right how they taught you you know going over things reviewing things and i really really loved, that was like the essence of the course itself and the lesson videos were really amazing initially like some of the lesson videos <laughs> i felt like they needed to really thin because i was like ah Olodoratata, like, I don't, I don't know anything, please help me. I don't know, I don't know what to do. So, but, like, some of them were, I felt like they were above the level I was at, but I found that, like, okay, if I use the lesson videos and supplemented with some other, like, stuff that they had as well, it br ended up breaking it down. And those other stuff that they had were their content review videos. So their content review videos, think about it, like, as in short videos, like, about three to five minute videos that just take a topic and break it down in the easiest, simplest, most understandable way possible. So what I used to do sometimes was if I did a lesson video and then there were concepts that I was like, ah, I did not really understand this particular concept. I would now go into the content review video, pick that particular concept and just like review it and be like, oh, okay, this is more of what they were talking about. So it was just a way to pinpoint a particular concept that I needed to really, really understand better and, you know, go over it. So I, re I, I love that they had that. So if you're doing any prep course, anything, make sure that they have like multiple resources, like multiple ways of talking. Some people only have books. Some people, you know, so I just like, cause me, I'm a visual learner. So I like having that. I had the visual, I had the books, I had just different ways to synthesize material. And that was very, very helpful for me. For me personally, it was extremely helpful. Then there are full lengths and cue banks. Word on the streets is that after the AAMC, <laughs> that after the AAMC content, so AAMC's full length and cue banks, the next steps, uh, materials are the second best and you know what I don't I did not use anybody else's own so I don't really know but they were really great like by the time I had taken um, the next steps full length and was taking the AAMC full length like my scores were not that off if that makes sense like they were they were quite predictive of my scores if I will say so I think by the time I took my first next step full length I think my score was a 506 or so. so I think my first full length was a 506 and then I was progressively getting by the time I was get, taking like the next um the AAMC um full length I was getting around like you know a 510 ish um around that area so they were not too far off it was not like oh because I've had like some courses will make their um their practice exam so hard like their practice exam, maybe you'll be getting like a 500 and then by the time you're taking AAMC, you're getting like a 510. And then you're like, I, I was going on. Like you, they, as, in, as if they are deliberately trying to make you depressed. That was not the case. I did not feel like that. And same with the Q banks. I did feel that their Q banks were a little harder. They were a little harder than AAMC's Q banks. But I feel like, you know, that was just too much. So they motivate person. Like it was just a motivational something. Okay. Yeah. So I really like their, those, their tests. And then 
another thing was how they helped you review full length there was there was a lot of emphasis on how you review your full length so it's not just that you took the full length it was how you reviewed it how did you look at what you got right so you were reviewing both the contents you got right both the ones you got wrong did you get it right because you actually knew the answer did you get it wrong because it was just like why did you get stuff wrong if you guys want me to do a video on how to properly review your full length exams please let me know in the comments if i get like a lot of people telling me that they want me to do such a video i will do it like how i was able to review my full length and my q banks because that's a game changer it's a game changer i'm telling you it's a game changer when it comes to mcat stuff so how to review that was something that they really really helped me with and then lastly their office hours so um, um, Blueprint has live office hours. So every day, I think it was Sunday through Thursday, every evening, they had office hours. So you just log, it was Zoom. It was a Zoom office hour thing. You just log in. And so the office hours, some of them were a particular topic. So it would be like biology, biochem, physics. Some were just free office hours. And you come in and you have... A real life so even though you were doing an online course like me I was doing their online course about had access to actual tutors you understand and they would help you break down material there are other students there so you can even maybe there are things that you don't even know you need to worry about other students are there so it's just like a live office art and it was really really nice it was really helpful like sometimes content I had been struggling with for like maybe the week or something and I, I go there and then like have an, a live person actually break it down to me I, I think that was like one of the best things about that course that office hours it was really nice I swear but those were like some of the main things that I that were very very helpful about the blueprints course like that course was very nice and I was able to get my score from a 493 to a 512 like I can't as with you guys like oh my god so they really took me from like 30 something percentile to 85 percentile and it was no joke like i don't think i would have been able to do it especially where i was coming from without that course so if you if that's if you're looking if you're watching this video because you want to know whether to do the course or not i i recommend it i really really highly recommend that course it was a very nice course for me but if you've watched this video this far let me know what you think in the comments let me know i'm thinking about doing doing one of those like look at my amcast application but i don't know if that's something you all want to see if it's something you want to see let me know in the comments but at the end of the day thank you guys so much for watching thank you for giving me an audience i've been on youtube for a month now and the love has been amazing i'm almost at 200 subscribers like i want more i i, I love it i love it we love the energy i want to see more of it okay so I just thank you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you so much. I just want, I can't wait to see how I continue to grow on this platform. But till next time, till next time you see my face, keep watching my videos, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting. Bye.